Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so um, I'm back with a new eyeshadow palette and trying out some different things here. Some worked real well, some only, um, you know, so so. So as far as starting um, primer, the Glow Oil by Supergoop and SPF 50. Uh, then I went ahead and used the House Labs. This is the Fair Cool shade in 50. And then um, as far as what I did for bronzer, I used the L'Oreal uh, Lumi Bronze. This is the medium shade. And it does have some sparkle to it, but it's a really fun shade. And then I got to one of the products that only worked so-so for me. And this is the Flower Gel Crush. Um, this one is in Citrus Crush. And the formula is just a little bit too, um, it's waxy, but it's kind of um, really, um, well, it's really creamy. creamy. And so, um, yeah, it doesn't like to stay put as well as I would like it to. But I know some, um, when I use it with some of the tints, it looks really good because it sort of, because it's so creamy, it blends in with some of the skin tints really well. It just really didn't work well on a full foundation kind of thing. And um, let's see, as far as uh, the blush itself, I went ahead and used Tarte uh, Captivating Blush. And so that's what it looks like. And yeah, um, I did go ahead and use this one, which is Out of Courts by ColourPop. And so this is what I have on as a highlighter there. So yeah, yeah, it's listed as a natural blush, a super shock uh, cheek, but I always use it as a highlighter. So that's what I have on there. As far as the new palette that I got, it's been out for a little while, but it's still pretty new. It's a NYX Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby. And so that's what it looks like. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So what, 16 shades here? Yeah, 16 shades. And so really pretty. Um, and for somebody who likes blues, it's really, really pretty. Um, it's what I have on my eyes today. And I definitely think I got a vintage jeans look out of what I did today. So um, as far as what I have on, I went ahead and put this color, the really d dark blue. And I put it from about the middle of the eye out. And um, I did it all across the lid. And then I went ahead and used uh, this shade, which is a pretty duochrome. And I used it right on the middle from the bottom of the lid all the way up to the top. And then I went ahead and used uh, this gray color. And again, from the bottom of the lid all the way up to the top. And then on the very inner corner, I went ahead and used this shade again from the bottom all the way to the top. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did for my look today. This is how the look turned out. And as far as what I did for an eyeliner here, I did go ahead and use the Imride in the dark blue. And so that's what I have on for my eyeliner. Uh, let's see, again, the next Stick It, Stick It in Colesh Brown and um, the Sky High Mascara as well. So that's what I have on there. I'll be back in just a moment with some swatches and I'll see you in just a second here. Okay, well, uh, somebody's out there mowing, so you may be hearing that. Um, but these are the swatches and I actually ended up doing the last two up there. So um, this is how the, yeah, how the palette comes out. Really pretty. And some really pretty blue colors. Yeah, there are the last two right there. So um, again, this is the, 
the swatches. Um, I would say definitely go ahead and pick this one up. You can, um, it would be great for travel. Uh, there's definitely a cool tone to it. Um, both of these shimmers here, this one goes pretty. It uh, flips, so it goes gold, so it's sort of pewter gold. And this one has some silver in it. So you can definitely go ahead and get more cool tone looks than just the blue cool tone looks. And um, just a really pretty palette, really different. It's one of those palettes that it's unusual enough that when I got a hold of it, you know, when I get a little bit nervous about, well, am I going to be able to, you know, do a good look with it? Then usually it means that it's a good palette because it's kind of challenging me. And... Um, yeah, the pinks and the mauves, you can definitely go that way with it. Pink, mauve, and silver. Um, again, the blues, and you could do a really pretty matte look with uh, just the matte blues if you wanted to go ahead and do that. Um, you could also do a brown look, especially, you know, with this, with these ones right here. And um, it definitely gives you enough of... Um, you got light colors, mediums, and darks, so you have enough to go ahead and do full looks of, you know, whichever ones you want. So as far as a cool palette, I think this one is really good, and I plan on enjoying it quite a lot for fall and winter. And again, if you're traveling, uh, this kind of, you know, small palette is great because it probably won't break. So, uh, I think as far as that, uh, I think that's the video, and, um, hmm, I forgot the lips, yep. Oh, this one, I mixed my NYX Butter Glosses, so I have a mixture of, um, uh, cream de brulee, yeah, cream brulee, well, and they're falling, cream brulee and tiramisu. So I actually took those two and mixed them together. And um, that's what I have on there. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Bye.